As an education student, you will want to get comfortable searching in the ERIC database. In the Great Graniteville Library, we have a few different versions of ERIC. The one I would recommend that you use is the one provided by the publisher EBSCOhost. And it's very similar to other databases you may have used in different classes, including Academic Search Premier. However, ERIC specifically covers education information and journals. So in the ERIC database, you can see at the top of the screen, you have three different search boxes. A couple of tips about searching here. You'll want to make sure that you use very short search terms and that you put one term in each search box. So following our example through, we're going to search for social studies and literacy. After we've inputted our search terms into the different search boxes, we'll go ahead and run our search. And we can see we have a ton of information, over 2,000 results. Well, 2,000 results is a little bit too much uh, to work with. So we're going to actually narrow down our information using the left-hand navigation bar. So the first thing that I always like to do is get more up-to-date information. So we'll look maybe at about the last 15 years or so from 2000 to 2016. And this narrows it down by about half. I might also specifically like to look at academic journals as opposed to books or magazines or government reports that also show up in ERIC. And if I'd like to narrow it down even more from the 625, I can look under the subject heading and specifically here's literacy or maybe elementary education. Let's try that because we're focusing on a specific age group. And this will actually help narrow it down. Now I'm down to about 140 results. That's a very manageable number. And you can see in ERIC, we have sort of a variety of options. We have some PDF full text. We have some where it says full text from ERIC in a link. And we have some that say full text finder. For anything that's PDF full text or where there's a full text from Eric link, you have immediate access to the full text of that particular article. For an example like result number three here, the benchmarking capacity of a general outcome measure of academic language in science and social studies, we don't happen to have the full text of this article in this particular database. Now, I want to always double check by clicking on the title of the article and reading the abstract, which is going to be an overall summary of the article to make a decision as to whether or not this is something that applies to the project I'm working on. If it is, in this case we'll pretend it is, then what I would like to do is click on the full text finder link over here on the left hand side. This will actually check the other 340 some odd databases that we have at the Great Graniteville Library to see if we happen to have this particular publication here. In this case, we weren't lucky enough to have a full text subscription to the Journal of Assessment for Effective Intervention in another database. However, our options are not over. If I still wanted to get a hold of this particular article, I could actually request the item through interlibrary loan. And by putting in a, an interlibrary loan request, we would be asking another library to send a copy to us on our behalf so that you could have it for your project. To use interlibrary loan, you'll simply want to click the link, select your campus, and log in using whatever your username and password is for your Blackboard account. In doing this, the first time that you use Interlibrary Loan, you'll be asked to set up your own account, but after that it will come right through to the article request screen like you see here. You simply hit Submit Request and you will get an email in a couple of days when the article arrives. Interlibrary Loan is simple, easy, and best of all, it's a completely free service. So, by a combination of separating our search terms, refining our results in the left-hand navigation bar, and when appropriate, using Interlibrary Loan, you should be able to find all of the journal content that you need to complete your disciplinary literacy inquiry project.